Hey guys, it's Mike at youarethepath.com. I've had a lot of new subscribers the past few days, past few weeks, so just want to share with you what you can expect from the channel. And pretty much I share positive psychology and I talk a lot about emotional intelligence and I share my own experiences and I like to make videos that motivate you that inspire you to take action but not only inspire you to take action but to share knowledge with you to share my experiences that helps you to learn to love and accept who you already are to help you to get clear on what it is you want to experience in your life but not only to have a sense of I've got to motivate myself because I'm not enough as I already am I talk a lot about being in the present moment and learning to let go of that negative chatter in your head that chatter that lingers around when somebody said something to you and then you go and sit down and then you're thinking about what they said to you and it's going round and round in your head I talk about stuff like that. I'm going to talk a little bit about that in this video actually. I've got another channel called You Are The Path and on those videos I share all my relationship videos. I'm a life coach in general but I focus a lot on relationships and improving your relationships. So check out that channel if you haven't already done so. On this channel is more of a kind of a video vlog sharing my journey with you so I wanted to say a few words on meditation um, not everyone agrees with meditation and that's fine there are those who criticize meditation and I can see why and I became conscious of this criticism a long time ago nearly 10 years ago when I first started to become aware of Buddhism and watching your mind and all that that whole genre and one of the um, well-known philosophers that actually publicly criticized monks for going to the top of the mountain was a guy called Confucius and I heard about this and I went out and bought this book because I wanted to learn more about that basically Confucius criticized the monks and told them to come down from the mountain and to help the people I could do with reading the book again but from what I gather Confucianism is very practical and would criticize the monks for living in their own head a little and I was going to do this video about East and West coming together because I believe that you can have a balance between having the inquisitiveness of the West, engaging the world and exploring the world, creating new ideas and applying those ideas. You can still have that along with the mindfulness of the East. I'm making a generalization here. Of the East because a lot of those things centuries ago came from that part of the hemisphere so I combine the two I believe you can combine the two I believe that if you sit around just being and not thinking about anything I personally would get bored of that eventually and I'd want to create something and to be involved with that creation and to be involved in creating something that not only improves my life but improves and touches the lives of those that I come into contact with again there's a balance there will be times when you just need to be when you need to leave your work and take a vacation take a weekend off or take a walk in the woods and just be for a bit and then come back to your work 
So I don't practice meditation because I want to retreat into my own stress-free life. I do that because it helps to center me so that I can actually be of use to other people. If I'm stressing in my own head and I've got loads of thoughts going on in my head and when I sit down to speak with you I can't even be present with you because of what I've got going on up here that's no use to me and it's no use to you and I'm not making this video because I feel like I need to justify myself I'm on this journey to understand not necessarily to be understood I know that I'm saying this because for those of you who may be watching who are thinking about delving into meditation and things like that I'm saying this to you because this is one of the criticisms you're going to come up against so expect it there are those who will judge in a way that is very patronizing and self-righteous there's nothing wrong with other people having a perspective that is different to mine but when you're really coming from a place of love you will say to that person hey don't go down that path because I've been down that path and I know where it leads but if you're a teacher coming from a place of love further to that you would also say but if you choose to go down that path I will love you nonetheless so a lot of people <laughs> a lot of people I've come into contact with those that are very judgmental and seem to know what is best for me well you see the thing is they're not me so they can't know what is best for me and I need to learn by making my own mistakes so what else can you expect from the channel well I don't delve into politics there are loads of other channels out there that I think do a better job than what I could do discussing those kind of topics so if you found this channel I'm assuming that you're um, savvy enough to know of the other alternative media channels that are out there so I don't touch on uh, politics I may use the word God sometimes the concept of God is something that I'm learning every day and I think the concept of God is a very personal thing personally when I say that word I don't come from a religious perspective of this entity that is looking down on us and judging us I'm not coming from that place at the same time I give other people the grace to have their concept of God and um, all I ask is that those people um, show me the same grace to believe what I believe so a lot of the times I use the term universe because that appears to be a little more accepted in today's uh, culture so for me personally everything is God you know this this pen is God the air that I breathe is God the emotions the whole design the cells the atoms it's everything and I believe there is some kind of purpose behind it even though there is a lot of hurt, pain and suffering and I'm not going to pretend that I have the answers to that because I don't but my own um, belief is that I have faith in whatever it is and that everything that has suffered has a reality beyond that suffering beyond this spacesuit some people say well that's fine but try saying that to a starving child and I find that a very childish thing to say try telling that to a starving child well first off and a friend told me this 
said this to me. Who would say that? Who would say to a starving child, oh, it's an illusion and it's all in your mind? You know, who in their right mind would behave that way in front of a starving child? I can only assume that I would be deeply troubled if confronted with a starving child. And maybe at some point in my journey, I will take that path to seek out those parts of the world and see where I can bring peace to it. What I will tell those people who would say such a thing, and someone has said that to me a couple of, I've had that a couple of times on my channel, is, and I can speak for myself and my own family, if we're starving in here, I have such faith in the whole of creation that I will tell my family, look, it's okay, this is just a vehicle. Even when I'm going through that, that pain, I would still say that, that it's okay, it's okay to die. We're going to have a reality beyond this suffering. I'm going to introduce this channel to you. Andy over at Andy A2012 made a good point when he talked about groups. He used to be involved in a group himself and he was sharing his thoughts on groups and that he said that he didn't really agree with groups because when a new person joins the group, those who have been in the group for a long time assume that they know more than you. There are certain rituals involved shaving your head or growing a beard. Some of the men with beards begin to believe that you're not a real man unless you have a beard. I think a lot of these groups start off with good intentions, but just like some of the religions of the world, it ends up, the message gets distorted. And personally, what I see in a lot of these so-called teachers in these groups insist that I change the errors of my ways or at least insist that I think a certain way and I get very suspicious once you start to insist it upon me and especially when I'm watching your videos and I never see you smile or laugh or there's no light-heartedness there I believe that life is a balance between light and dark at this time now we have yeah we have dark but we also have light you can dwell too much on the darkness to the point where you forget the, that the light is there as an option so I get very suspicious when you try to persuade me and I think that's when the distinct that's when you can distinguish between a teacher and an extremist. An extremist will threaten you with violence if you don't see it the way that they see it. And that's because, well, I suspect that there is doubt there that they don't truly believe it themselves. I think I needed to get some of that off my chest, so I just went ahead and said it. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So I don't consider myself a guru. I'm still a student myself. This isn't a following, you're not following me, it's you are the path. Be independent, pursue your own happiness, be more of who you are, and love yourself who you are already. Being in the flow is having a grand vision of the future, but enjoying where you are now. Don't make the now an obstacle. Experience it. Be in the now. <laughs> I'm going to talk more about this in future videos. I hope you got something from that. Catch us later.